This is a story of a 35 year old man named Dennis Kazungu who turned his own kitchen into a burying ground where he buried 12 whole bodies. You guys, you're welcome back to this channel. My name is Asa Irene R and R is for reaction. On this channel, we'll talk about trending topics, we'll talk about gist, we react to different things, okay? So if you're seeing this channel for the first time, please hit that subscribe button to join the family. To my OGs, thank you so much for always coming back. You guys, let me gist you the full details or maybe let me just you guys the details on ground okay this thing started happening i think 11 days ago you guys that's when it started trending so you guys um this young man dennis kazungu uh is a 35 year old man that sells papers in kigali i think it's from kigali kigali is in africa okay he has this is his paper shop where he sells uh spare parts and then he usually goes to club and have fun hang around you know you know what is done in the clubs where he picks his victims you know and then it is equally said that he has he is hiv positive and that he got it from one of his sex workers that he got from the club and then according to him as a result of that he decided he went on a killing spree where he started you know killing different women and nobody knows for sure when this thing started per se like when he started the killing another but from it is assumed that he started since 2022 or 2021 considering the rate of the bodies found in his kitchen then they according to him them they say that he's living in somewhere that is somehow isolated he has neighbors too but they are not really that close the neighbors are somehow far off and he lives somehow alone so now his routine is usually go to work and then in the evening time he goes to the club and then he gets his victim come back home so nobody can tell for sure how he buys his victim nobody can really tell but from what the look of things maybe there's some he actually lynch until the person dies then it is discovered that he has 12 bodies 12 bodies in his kitchen and then among that 12 bodies just one male so the other uh, 11 bodies are female sex workers that he got from the club brings them back home and you know do away with them so it, uh, it was now confused as to why there is a male body in the you know in the pit too so they asked how come a male body he said uh because people actually thought maybe he was a sex worker maybe he was equally into fellow men and all that but then he said no that he actually wanted the guy's identity a 25 year old young man he wanted the guy's identity that was why he had to you know do away with the guy too okay now if you need somebody's identity i'm sure you're going to go for somebody your age mate or something not somebody you're 10 years old older than because the man mr dennis himself is 35 years old and this young man is 30 uh, 25 years old that means there's a 10 year old gap okay now how come how was he caught i'm sure that's what you're wondering okay the thing is that he couldn't pay his house rent so the landlord kept pressuring him to pay his house rent you know there's this saying that whom the gods want to make uh, uh they kill they first of all make mad so uh you guys let me not debate yet so the landlord asked him to pay rent and he couldn't pay his rent so the landlord said that he's going to leave his house for him he begged the landlord and the landlord gave him some grace after some time pay up now he couldn't pay so at this point the landlord went and called the police so that they can come and evacuate him from his house so it was at this point that he started crying and begging and then the policemen noticed that this crying and begging is no longer as a result of vacate the house it seems like something is fishy it seems like something is behind this whole crying and begging you know there's a way a man will cry now you know for if i men don't even cry when it comes to vacate my house they can like you know go to their friend's house and all that but this one this man was really crying you know crying so they knew something was fit it was at that point that he you know said the truth that yeah that he has unfinished business in his house he has there are so many cockroaches in the cupboard so it was then that they dig up the hole they found in the kitchen and then they found these 12 bodies you guys that's how this mr dennis was caught okay now they started asking him why he was killing these women he said because uh one of the sex workers uh, infected him with hiv 
so now if you feel like you're infected with hiv and then you want to start back you know start hitting on every other person what do you do you know what do you do so now he made it look like the sex worker that gave him gave him uh, hiv did it deliberately but i doubt the fact that that person actually gave him deliberately because sex workers that's what they are sex workers they're not going to sleep with only you and you don't expect them to be healthy you get so your own is to protect if you can't stay away from them if you must call them your own is to actually protect yourself from diseases by using condom okay but then if you didn't use and then you got infected you are at your own risk so you cannot come and blame anybody for it so then you will not be giving it to other women and start killing them at the same time you guys the thing is i don't think it was as a result of hiv that uh, the person infected him whichever that's why he's i feel like there is more to it he has developed maybe he killed the first one and then you know and he just felt like he should start killing you guys um ladies eh let's deviate more from mr dennis and his hoha wahala ladies sex workers honestly i can't say people should stop but normally if i should say the truth how i feel in my heart i'll say stop sex workers stop sex work okay but then if you must if you must please you have to be very careful i think those ones that they, they will come to your whatever your own house or be your own clubhouse or whatever and do it there is even more better and safer instead of you them inviting you and you go to their house you don't know what to expect you don't know what to see in their houses to be honest i look i hear about ladies that go to a man's house or just as a sex worker i see i, I like you guys are they are they are they are they respect una una wait, what do i even call it eh like you don't know this guy from anywhere and then he invites you to his house his own house so that you can go and sleep with him and then you agree and just go you are free and just go. You don't have anything to protect yourself with. You don't have. You don't know this person. You don't. You never know what you might face when you get there. Okay. So it was during the investigation too that they found out that this man that is not even just the uh, twelve people that he killed. Uh-huh. There are two other people that he buried somewhere else, and those people their body are not yet found. So who knows? He might even ask more, investigate more, and realize that nobody today this man started to they kill people. Ladies, please, please please sex workers please even those people that somebody will beat somebody on facebook and immediately the person will invite them when they start going to the person's house how do you people do this thing why is it that you people are not afraid how do you people just stand up and go to somebody's house somebody that you don't know and your family might not even know you've gone there nobody knows you're there nobody and you just go yeah it simply means that please if you're going to people's houses even if it's not for sex work and all that just be very careful just be careful you can imagine that people might even come to his house and he will enter inside the same kitchen prepare food and come and give you people oh my goodness i can't even imagine what these women went through before they died okay there are three women that explained that they escaped his uh killing so from what these three women explained uh, because they said they equally went to the police station to go and report but then the police didn't do anything because they felt like you know how Ashawo and you know their customers they just felt like it's just you know they go that kind of situation they never really knew that it was something serious of which if they have if they have investigated more they would have found that truth and be able to save these people in time so imagine in just a period of one year this person might have killed up to 12 people so imagine that another one year was added to it would have like you make it 24 or even more okay so you see why i said that who the gods want to kill they first of all make mad now in order to bring him out in order for him to be caught god made it that he didn't have money to even pay his rent imagine that he had money to pay his rent he would have paid his rent and still continued in his house he would have paid his rent and still continued with this 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 wicked thing that he's doing and nobody would have known but for him to be caught god made sure that he didn't he wasn't able to raise money from his it's not like he didn't have business he has a spare parts business so who knows maybe to deal with him to make him come to light he has to not have money to pay his rent you guys this is the old update we have uh, for uh dennis kazungu so if there are more updates i'm still going to let you guys know thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and share this video don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in my next video until then